to film with friends Missing VHS videotape repeating Welcome back gals and guys Today we're looking at 1991's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 The Secret of the Ooze Came out within a year of the original one coming out since the original one did so well. I mean, amazingly well. It became one of the top grossing independent film of all time, beating out Halloween, if I remember correctly. Because this was back in the time when New Line Cinema was still kind of considered an independent uh, independent uh, film house. Uh, this is one of the ones where I love the original Turtles a lot, and I think the original Turtles movie is really good and still holds up. The costumes, everything, the martial arts, I think that they're, all, they're actually really good movies. Um... I do kind of like the second one almost more than the first one. Um, it's not. I like David Warner in it. I like the Super Shredder, and of course, how can you go wrong with Vanilla Ice? I mean, you put Vanilla Ice in a movie, it's going to be a winner, right? Uh, I like Kino in it. I forget what's his name. What's his name? What's his name? Who's after the play Kino? Ernie Reyes Jr. Um, so I like Toka and Razor, even though they're no Bebop and Rocksteady. But there's just something just really fun about this movie. Uh, the April O'Neil in this movie is hotter than the original April O'Neil, although the original April O'Neil was a better April O'Neil, if that makes any sense. Uh, I do have a, on one of my other channels called The Card Curator, where I do uh, unboxing, unpacking, unpacking video, or, uh, videos of what they're called, trading cards. I do, I do open a box of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 trading cards as well as the Turtles cards for the original movie and for the comic series. But, I mean, Ninja Rap, man. Go Ninja Go. How can you go wrong with this movie? I think this movie's fantastic. It's a fun watch. This is one that we showed at one of my theaters um, at one point in time. I think we did it as one of the Turtles pizza parties. All You Can Eat Pizza. Took my daughter to it. Um, yeah. So 1991, I think this release is probably around the same time. This might be one of the first VHS releases of it. This is one that I never actually owned either. Both in, both the Turtles movies, the first, the original and this one, for some reason I never actually owned on VHS. I did end up owning, of course, on DVD and then on Blu-ray. Uh, this one I picked up in Omaha uh, a couple weeks ago when I was there at a half-price books for 99 cents. So I thought that was a good buy to go along with the fact that I did a video on the first one and, of course, to go along with uh, card curator videos since I opened up a box of trading cards. But yeah, man, I think Vanilla Ice really steals the show of this movie. Can't go wrong with Vanilla Ice, except, you know, Vanilla Ice. All right, guys, did you guys see this? I don't, um, I'm trying to remember if I saw this in theater or not. I don't think I did. I think I saw the original one in theater, like at the Dollar House. I never saw the second one until it came out probably on HBO or some sort of type like that, or maybe even when it came out for VHS rental. But yeah, so I do dig this movie. It's a lot of fun. Go Ninja Go. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.